these are the people that help me and they can definitely help you guys too so please check them all out hey people uh, today I'm here I'm testing as I said I was going to test more and more resins and today I'm here with a test of Soraya fast gray uh, and I mixed in a little Soraya tenacious because people said that's what you should do let me check it out I printed up my first print was a demon from Artisan and skilled of course I'm gonna have a close-up high-res photo and he came with wings I'm going to this first part of the test uh, and I probably should have printed an X-Wing before I do this, it pains me to do it, but let's see how, uh, the detail's really good, you'll see in the pictures, let's see how, how flexible it is. Look, I'm bending it, it's not breaking. All right, let me, let me see if I can break them. It's 50% bent, 60% bent. Look at that, it didn't break yet. Let's, let's keep going. Look, I folded it all the way and it still didn't break yet. So that's pretty good. That means it's going to survive a drop pretty easy. Let me keep bending it. Oops. Okay. So when I, when I folded it all the way over, it finally snapped. So that, and I got to pressure print up next wing. I have to print up next wing for the photos. But anyway, I've got the other wing here in the base. Uh, so that was pretty good. You know what? So I'm not going to print another wing. Let's, let's, let's do that break test again on this wing. So 50%. Almost folded over. Oh, this is pretty strong. Uh, that time, this one didn't even break. Hold on. Uh, folded all the way over. This one won't break. And I cured it pretty long time, so uh, it still won't break. I heard a little crack. Okay, so basically all my force folding it in half, which you should never be doing with your minis before this one cracked. Let me see if I bend it the other way. Should it break now? Uh, Oh, this, this stuff is strong as hell. Hold on. And you know what? I'm not even going to break this one. It's starting to hurt my fingers. Okay, so in terms of a test, uh, is this resin tough when you mix the Soraya Fast with the Soraya Tenacious? I think my answer is going to be a big yes. So this is really good. If you want minis that you can drop um, without breaking, let me just flex this guy a little bit. I don't want to break him because I'm like reprinting him as well. But, oh yeah. Look at, look at the flex one. This is fully cured, and it has really good flex. That means if I dropped it, uh, and you won't see this, but let me just toss him. Okay, of course, no damage, but I just wanted to throw him down there pretty hard and see what happened. Uh, anyway, so this is a short video review. The, it has no smell, by the way, after it's cured, and the smell um, when I was working with it was not bad. So it's, it's I don't know if they advertise as low odor, low odor but it seems pretty low odor and now let's get this picture i'm going to picture this guy and a couple other ones so stay tuned let's look at how the resin prints out because that's really important i've realized after testing resins all resins don't print the same some hold for some reason they print better they hold more detail so let's look at the pictures and see how this came out thanks so here's a model I printed many times before, my little goblin gunslinger. This guy is tiny, so it's a good one to check detail. What I look for is the belt buckles, and you can see it, that little prong thing that stips, slips through the belt to bind it came out really clear. The eyes came out really clear, and the rivets came out really clear, and the guns look really good even though they're super tiny. So I'm liking the detail that this resin picked up. Uh, let's look at the demon that I broke the wings on before. Here he is with wings reprinted. Um, you can see this also great, lots of detail. Um, the resin printed out really nicely, and as we know, I could basically bend this guy in half without him breaking, which is cool. Uh, and like I said, the resin printed out got all the details, which is super duper important to me. As you guys know, I like clean prints, but it's got to have all the detail. The artist sculpted it. Here's um, a figure that is still just off the build plate. I just want you guys to see those super ultra light supports. Look how thin the connections are on the sword, and you see they all printed out perfectly. So for me, I need a resin that prints really small, really thin, really well, and this is a test for it, is these ultra light supports. Now let's look at the model, how it, the model came out after I cleaned it off. Perfect. Look at the fur. You know, uh, the rivets on his bracers, er, you know, everything came out perfectly. So, again, the resin is printing up great, which is really important to me. And given the strength, it's a huge plus. So I want to test, the last thing I want to do is test out on a huge model. So this one is, you know, about 100 millimeters tall. There's a demon mount from Artisan Guild. 
uh, and it, you can see it picked up a lot of detail. On a bigger model, it looks a little easier, but the resin did a really good job here. Looks great. Let's look at it from the side. You can see all the uh, detail that was sculpted on is there. So it, it printed beautifully on small models and beautifully on large models. So uh, yeah, so I could show a ton more prints. I have more done, but I, I think you guys get the idea. So let me wrap this up. So to sum it up, I think this mix of Soraya Fast with Soraya Tenacious, and I know people are gonna ask me in the comments, what mix did you use? I eyeball it. I've been, I, I tried to use 80% uh, Fast, 20% Tenacious, some you know, it was approximately four fifths, one fifth, and it got me those great, you know, flexible results and uh, printed really nicely. So again, but I'm just going to eyeball because I don't think you need an exact proportion. Uh, cure time, by the way, was same as like when I use like an Elegoo Gray or something like that, so I didn't have to cure it any longer. And what I like about this combo right now is the Soraya Fast, believe it or not, I didn't realize this. It's cheaper than Elegoo Gray. You can get a thousand right now. I, I just got some on Amazon. A thousand grams, milligrams, a thousand grams. Anyway, uh, for 30 bucks. And the Soraya Tenacious is way more expensive. I think that might be in the 50s, maybe even in the 60s. But since I'm only using a little bit of that mixed in with a lot of fast, it's still very economical. And to get miniatures that you can like fold in half, you know, which you're not going to do, obviously, but miniatures which will survive a bump, survive a drop, you know, uh, give you the peace of mind that you're not like, oh my God, if someone touches this, it's going to, you know, it's not brittle at all. Uh, that way you're, I think you, the, the resin to me, it averages, if you do it that way, the resin averages out to maybe 35 to $36 per thousand milliliters. So I said grams before milliliters. So uh, it, it's quite economical. To get that kind of strength that you, I mean, you saw the test, you saw me trying to break the wings. I, I wasn't faking it, I was squeezing as hard as I could. And I was able to snap it, but you know, again, you saw I had to fold it all the way over to do it. So I'm really loving this combo. Um, I, I still love my water washable resin too, and I'm gonna continue to use that, but this actually is more flexible. So I'm, I'm going to use this mix. You'll, you're gonna see it a lot in my pictures in, in my Facebook groups because. Anything that I feel has a risk of breaking or could be damaged, I'm really liking uh, this this combo. And since it's not expensive, no reason everyone shouldn't be using it. So for all you guys who have minis or scattered turning wherever they're actually going to use, that's going to get bumped. You know, we're human beings, right? Your players, you, you're going to knock them, bump them, knock them off the table. You know, whatever happens, it's really nice to have minis and terrain that you basically can't break, I don't think. I mean, I, maybe I'll do some more tests on, on trying to break bigger pieces. I think bigger pieces may react differently than those wings. Obviously, you can't take a full figure and bend it in half that it will snap earlier. So that, I don't want this video to drag on. I'm gonna do some more tests. I'm gonna print out some bigger figures and then try and break those. And I'll come back with that video. But obviously you saw from these tests, this, this stuff is just super strong, super tough and flexible. So I think for printing minis or, or terrain or even small vehicles and stuff, you know, it's, it's way better than any of the, like if you just plain Elegoo Gray, you know, it, it's obviously, I, I've used it, it's, it's way more brittle. Um, and, and, you know, chips, you know, you can chip it. You, you guys know if you've worked with it. So I, I think this is a really good option for people. So, oh, and full disclosure again, I'm not getting paid for any of this as you guys watch my videos, you know, no one pays me to do anything and I don't blame them, I wouldn't pay me either. Uh, so I'm recommending this because I'm, I'm using it and it's really good. I do think uh, anyone doing minis, you should definitely try this combo out and see how it works for you. It's the Soraya Fast mixed with Soraya Tenacious. Now, I've also read online that the Soraya Blue, which is super strong, but I find it not as flexible as the Tenacious when I used it, a little more brittle. But they said, I've heard that mixes in really well with the Fast also. So my next video is going to be Soraya Fast mixed with Soraya Blue. And, you know, we'll test that out and I'll be back with the results. We'll see how that goes. But for now, uh, this is a really good combo, Fast with Tenacious. I'm absolutely loving it. You're going to see a lot more prints from me. Uh, I have two resin printers. One's going to have this, the Fast and Tenacious and the other's going to have my water wash resin. 
So you will see a bunch of prints from me coming with both resins from now on because I really like this. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Or if you do order this resin, uh, if you do it for my links, it doesn't cost you extra, of course, but it, it does help uh, me fund my channel a little bit, even though it's just a hobby. Helps me, you know, I buy better equipment with it. I buy more resins to test. So if you guys use the links, it allows me to do more stuff for you. Anyway, that's it. Thanks and happy 3D printing.